Hello Capricorn, it's Milady from Milady's Winter and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 9, 24 through 10, 1, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I like to close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and sending a personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on for the Capricorn? Capricorn love reading for 9, 24 through 10, 1, 2017. Capricorn love reading 9, 24 through 10, 1, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. All right, it's telling you to keep going with something, Capricorn. All right, let's see what that is. Mm. So, uh, it has something to do with your um, friends, family. Somebody's telling you to do something. Okay, you got to. Ooh. It's basically saying, I mean, I don't know if I agree with this, but it's saying keep dealing with the person you dealing with, even though they got a third party. Okay, I got to pull one more card for this camera cord. Uh, What is this endurance about? Mm. Yeah, so, whew. okay, hopefully by the end we know what's going on. But here is like you need to keep going because you're thinking about leaving. Your fans are talking crap because there's something going on with a third party, but they're giving you presents. Or this could possibly mean you're just going through a lot. All right, let's 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 keep going. All right. Whoa. So this third party may be being, um, you may be the one that's having a third party and your friends are being secretive about it because you're cheating on somebody. You are the one that's cheating on somebody for gifts and it's because your partner doesn't treat you like they want you. Okay. Mm. So this could be somebody at work that you're dealing with that, that's treating you. The way you want to be treated. Or it's just like your friends are trying to. Let's see what these friends are trying to do. Because I feel like they're trying to protect you. But you're not listening. So, so now they're talking about you behind your back. Alright. Oh, Jesus. All right, so it seems like you possibly could have got pregnant by somebody at work or somebody. Or you got somebody pregnant at work and it's because you're not at home. But your friends are talking negative about you now because you didn't got pregnant by this side person. And I feel like you don't know who it is. You don't know who the parent is. Yeah. And you still care about the relationship at home, but it's like this person doing what you, this person on the side doing what you, what you need to be done. It's making you feel like you need to leave, giving you stuff, treating you like you need to be treated, all that. That's, it's making you feel like you need to leave. I don't feel like you love this person. I feel like you care about the person at home more, but you just love how this person treats you as an outsider. And it seems like you might be um, arrogant yourself or you're dealing with arrogant people. Um, but it's like, it, this got to be you. You feel like you deserve it all. Yeah, I get caught when I get caught. You know, that's the kind of feeling I'm getting here. All right, so what's going on with the Capricorn? What's going on with the Capricorn? Love reading Capricorn. Love reading September 24th through October 1st, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? Capricorn love reading, Capricorn love reading. 
Mm, yeah, this person is giving you a lot of money. Probably even talking about helping you start a business. All right. All right. Or trying to get you a business, a job at, at their business or something. Jeez. Yep, you definitely got a choice to make. Mm. Okay, so it's this is crazy, but it seems like whatever you do, you gonna win. Okay, whatever you do, there's a new start and there's a victory. You know what I mean, you got the Ace of Swords with the the Fool card. It's like you bl and then I saw the two of coins. Um, it was reversed, so I feel like you already know what you want. But here is like you don't have to work hard anymore. You already know you are gonna get what you want. Okay. But I'm going to read these. That was crazy how I kept seeing that. But it's like, you're not ready. You're not ready to choose. You know what you want, but you're not ready to choose. Yeah, you're not ready to choose. All right, so we got the Eight of Coins here. The Eight of Coins is reversed. It says, a card of decrease, less money, less hours, and possible layoff. Okay? Hmm. I mean, I guess I could see how that can happen. You, instead of you having two people, you're only going to have one. I mean, or you've just been taking time off to relax and, and see what you want to do when you're just contemplating about what's going on. You need to, oh, maybe some of you are taking time off to be with the other person too. I mean, that would do it. All right, so we got the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, it says... Um, you're able to move in many situations with great power. Trust your own abilities. It is time for you to win. So it's like, I mean, you've been in this relationship over here and you've been feeling like crap. You know, you, you, you really love this person, but you not feeling good about it. So you're getting ready to take a leap and, you know, see what happens, you know, but you're just not ready to let go yet. All right. So now we have the full card. And it says, uh, planning has not been done. Obstacles are not seen. Pay attention to risk. The situation continues, even though better opportunities may appear. So, yeah, you got the better opportunity, the person that really wants to be with you. But you, you're scared to let go of this person that, that doesn't want you anymore because you still want them. You know, I think it's just a mental set of how the relationship looks. I don't think... Um, it's like the feelings of it at all. It's just like, oh, this is my husband or this is my wife or I've been with them for 10 years or five years or two years or three years. It's all about a number. It's not all about, you know, what's actually going on in the situation. All right, so we got the death card reverse. It says, lack of direction and desire to remain in a bad situation. Um, and that's what's going on here, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a great week.